What's up everybody, 915 man here, doing a video today on the 150 gallon tank. I am going to be messing around with some plumbing. This video is going to be perfect for you guys if you're actually thinking about getting an aquarium from SCA. Or you may just be doing nanos. Um, you could just be doing nanos and be thinking about getting a bigger tank. Uh, if you've been doing nano all in one tanks and now you want to jump into a big boy tank when doing some plumbing, but you know, you kind of had an idea, but not really. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover that stuff. Uh, first, for, first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum all this styrofoam. They put a lot of styrofoam inside the cabinet because when they shipped the, the tank to me, it came in two pallets. One pallet was the tank. Second pallet was the tank and stand, but the sump was inside. Let's take a look at these washers, uh, not washers, but the uh, bulkheads. Um, actually don't like the way they came out. I'm going to go ahead and use them. I think these are a little bit cheap quality. Not just one bulkhead. This is the uh, screw, right? And then uh, those are the bulkheads on the tank. Each bulkhead for the SCA 150 is a is one inch. So you got two one inch drains and also a one inch return. So as you can see, the bulkhead goes like this and on the bottom is just a screw. And the top of that on the inside of the tank is actually where the rubber washer would be. What I'm gonna be doing right now, as soon as I tighten these up, I'm gonna hand tighten these as much as I can. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, some vice grip, uh, some slip pliers, right? And the thing is, you wanna tighten these up with your hand and not too much with a some pliers or anything like that. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and fill up the overflow a little bit with water and let it sit. If you have it dripping on the uh, left bulkhead, that's fine. But if you look at the center bulkhead, that is not fine. It's totally cracked the bulkhead. Um, I'm going to be switching from these bulkheads. You know, I kind of felt that they were cheap. I'm going to go ahead and use some bulkheads that I have around. Most reefers, if you've been doing this a while, have extra bulkheads on hand. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, change mine out. And you can see this totally cracked. Could you imagine doing this, having your plumbing glued and everything like that? And then have something like that crack. As you can see, I'm using the vice grip slip pliers. Uh, these things are great. They will cover my bulkheads easy. Um, There's the best tool that I I have um, to do it. You know, you just want to go ahead and crank it. I am turning it to the right, but you don't want to crank it too much because you could also potentially crack your gra glass. And uh, luckily for me, this glass is thick. But uh, you do need to be careful about what you're doing. My goal right now is to go ahead and get this plumbing done so I can move my fish into the tank um, and then start, you know, of course, filling up the, the aquarium. These are all uh, reused bulkheads. I did use some brand new ones. I got to give a shout out to my buddy Tim because um, he did provide me with a lot of plumbing that he had left over and uh, really appreciate it. I am checking for leaks. Uh, it has been filled up. Like I said, when you use your overflow and you're testing, don't fill it all the way up. Just fill it enough so that way you can check and see if you have any leaks and do not glue anything until you're confident. Here's my plumbing. I got a lot of these plumbing from Tim, so shout out to Tim. My next goal is to go ahead and install some lights. That way I can see what I'm doing. I'm just showing you some of these screws that I use sitting on top of the yoga mat and the screws that you want to use is something that can go ahead and drill into your wood but not go all the way through like some large six inch screws I'm just using enough screws so that way it can attach itself to the wood and go from there I'm gonna be pitting these on and some aquatic life rails um, the aquatic life rails that I've been using since I started reefing uh, have been great. I've used them to hang, hang heavy, heavy lights on them. AI Souls, uh, Hydras, my Reef Breeders Photon, and that's what I'm going to use in this stand. I do like the way that it came out. It came out really nice. Um, before that, in my other build, my 180, I was actually using an Aqua Illumination rail, the 70 
two inch for my you know 180 gallon tank but this time I'm just going to be using the hanging kit the aquatic life rails and my reef breeders photon and it looks pretty good I am going to go ahead and add some T5s I do love the way that T5s look I think uh, maybe they're not necessary but for me I like the way that they look I'm going to be using the 54 watt ATI blue plus and the 54 watt ATI coral plus uh, to, for my corals these two bulb combinations looks really nice it's a real clean crisp color I'm going to go ahead and pit them on top of the tank but first I need to go ahead and do some DIY uh, mods to my light setup and uh, this piece of metal is actually from a Coleman pop-up shelter um, if you don't have one of these uh, jigsaws I highly suggest you get one this is a pretty good brand it holds the saws and everything like that and as you can see all I did was race it on top of the light over the light I'm using the screws to hold up my reflectors and then I'm going to be pitting in the uh, T5 bulbs um, it's pretty easy you could go ahead and spray paint it black whatever you want to do and uh, I'm just going to do it like this I think it looks good and uh, that way I can go ahead and uh, have this light running pretty soon initially when you get the lights they might be a little bit confusing but they're pretty much color coded you got a black in you got a red in the black goes with the black the red goes with the red doesn't matter if it's left or right you can go ahead and make it the way you want I am gonna go ahead and uh, organize my cables a little bit later but this is what it looks like hooked up I wanted the coral plus up front the blue plus in the back and um, it's gonna be a big difference you know when you just have your LEDs a lot of people just will run you know LEDs and have great success but for me T5s with LED LED hybrid is the best way to go for me and uh, my, my preference in reefing so go ahead and take a look full tank shot of the 150 gallon tank pretty much brand new have barely been running I did use the same water from my 180 I used a lot of the rock from the 180 and as you can see it's all in the 150 um, I do plan on giving away quite a bit of rock to my buddy Enrique he's the one who purchased the 180 and uh, and on the left side I'm using a bunch of dry rock from aqua max and uh, from I ordered them from marine depots to Pucani and uh, so once I start getting rid of some of this rock that's going to Enrique it, the landscape and aquascape will look a lot better I also used some sand I rinsed a bunch of sand off that I had in my 120 uh, a while ago that I just had sitting in the bucket and as you can see um, I like the way that sand looks uh, I didn't make the mistake of using sugar fine sand I did use the Fiji pink sand I like the way it looks uh, the tank is a little bit dirty but not too much of an issue as you can see I just have rock all over the place um, not really worried about it yet but it will come out pretty cool and clean once I get it set up let's go ahead and take a little view and I'm going to show you the side view of this monster it's the same views as the 180 which is what I really like because the width of it is 24 or 25 inches wide so I have lots of room and uh, it's going to look a lot better once I get some of this rock out of here um, and into Enrique's tank um, I'm also going to be getting rid of that big rock of GSP I'm going to give it to my buddy Enrique but as you can see T5's LEDs looking real good no braces except for the Euro brace around the tank and uh, I'm really happy with the way that this uh, tank is coming along and moving so if you guys want to follow along click that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video guys thanks for watching you guys take care